I would love to see his phone records to see whether he was talking to Putin the day that uh, the insurgents mm -hmm. uh, invaded our capital. But we now know that not just him, but his enablers, his accomplices, his cult members have the same disregard for democracy. Wow. That was Hillary Clinton during an interview with the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the 2016 nominee of the Democratic Party, raising the possibility of a Russian connection to the riot at the U.S. Capitol, suggesting President Trump was giving updates to Vladimir Putin as the chaos unfolded that day. All angles on this. Will Kane, co-host of Fox & Friends Weekend, standing by for some analysis. But first, David Spunt watching that story for us in the Department of Justice. What's up with this, David? Bill, this is a big story. The former Secretary of State is hinting at a possible 9-11-style commission investigation into this over in Congress. Uh, this is something she mentioned on her podcast. It's called You and Me Both. She had House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on as a recent guest, and clearly they talked about the biggest news in Washington, that riot over on Capitol Hill on January 6th. Secretary Clinton said she'd like to see the president's phone records. You heard her that day. Sometimes the White House releases readouts, public readouts of phone calls with foreign leaders, but the press office is not obligated to do so. Here's Secretary Clinton. We learned a lot about our system of government over the last four years with uh, a president who disdains democracy and as you have said numerous times, has other agendas. What they all are, I don't think we yet know. I hope historically we will find out who he's beholden to, who pulls his strings. Speaker Pelosi went on to say absolutely a 9-11 style type commission to investigate how this happened at the Capitol is necessary and will happen. Pelosi also rep referenced a famous photograph where she's standing up in the cabinet room of the White House, pointing, wagging her finger at President Trump. She said, quote, to Secretary Clinton, quote, what I was saying to him as I was pointing rudely at him with you, Mr. President, all roads lead to Putin, end quote. Meanwhile, Bill, here at the Justice Department, incoming Attorney General Merrick Garland's team will continue to prosecute those involved in that riot on January 6th. Every hour of the day, we are learning about new arrests. The acting Attorney General Jeff Rosen said just this morning in a video message, the FBI has received more than 200,000 digital tips relating to that riot. Bill? David, thank you. David Spunt, Department of Justice.